the frequencies, everyone. Um, coming in to go over the dream last night um, that I can recall. Uh, as I talk, I know more will come to me. But before I get into that, I do want to say that today has been absolutely amazing. It's been such a beautiful day. I could feel every moment um, just being present in every single moment um, at work and um, outside of work, eating food, uh, going to the grocery store, just being present in every single moment and just really focusing on the breath and just being just very intentional with everything with my energy so um today has been one of those days i i feel extremely connected i feel more in alignment with um that source energy the energy to definitely have the controller and manipulating everything that goes around um that's around me and in my field and in my circle of energy, I just feel like um, manifesting. And not from like the taking perspective, but just from creating whatever it is that I'm seeking to create. Whether it's um, giving eye contact with someone and sending them energy for healing, um, or just you know, a smile or just asking someone how they're doing or just, you know, just manifesting and projecting out that light energy of the work that has been, you know, going on and that love energy, the love that I have for myself and for others that's being projected out. So today has been one of those days. It just feels, it's, it feels really good. <laughs> Um, so going into the dream, I know I posted it on Instagram, if you all are on there earlier today, about a dream that I had. And in this dream, I had someone electronically deposit $100,000 into my account. Now, the thing about this is that that $100,000 was sent, it was, it wasn't sent honestly from someone. It was like someone that I knew forged this electronic payment to me, the paperwork and everything, to the bank. The bank went through, did it, deposited it. <clears throat> and I was like, wow, you know, it's in my account. I went to the, um, at first I didn't even know this was something that had been done fraudulently. And I went to the bank, I withdrew $74,000. Crazy, because banks, you normally know, don't let you take out that much. I went to the ATM and let me take out $74,000 at the ATM. Then the ATM said that I had $104,000. So an extra $4,000 got added, even after I took out $74,000. Um, so yeah, and if you all are, are into numerology and you really want to look at the numbers, then the 74 is 11. And then, of course, the one and the zeros. And then we have the uh, 104, which is five. And we're in the year five. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I withdrew 74000 and 104000 popped back into my account as available balance. And in this dream, I also had a child. So it was like I had, and I had small children, too. It was like it was a child but then it was other small children that I had that were in a car I went to the bank after I went to the ATM I went to the bank um, it was some reason I had to go to the bank to make sure that everything that had got cleared now the paperwork that the hundred thousand that I got transferred into my account was on this purple sheet of paper it was the, the electronic payment that had been sent from like a healthcare company it was some type of healthcare company that someone used to fraudulently send me $100,000 was on this purple sheet of paper. Now, everything was going good, but it was the manager. Um, the 
manager wanted to go back and review the paperwork. It was just like, you know, $100,000. Like, and I remember being at the bank and I remember her saying to some other man, and it was a Caucasian man, he was, she was like, yeah, your account balance is $100,000. You're still in good standing. You're just what you're used to having. And I was just like, okay, my, my bank account balance was 100000 And I'm like, okay. But I wasn't a regular at that bank for those type of figures. So I guess it alerted the bank manager. <laughs> and she went into researching. And it was like she went into researching. I got back in the car with my, my child. When I get back in the car with my child, it was like, um, I, it was like, I could hear in some type of way that she called the, the health company or whatever and found out that they didn't submit a hundred thousand dollars to me. They was like, we didn't do this. And I told her, I was like, well, I don't know who did it. Like I didn't do it. I don't know who did it. It just ended up being submitted to me. So anyway, I get in the car and while I'm in the car, it's like somebody pulled up with a gun and started shooting at my car with my children. And we ducking and getting away from the bullets. And then somebody magically just started driving. I don't know who it was that was in the car with me. But somebody started driving while we ducking down. And the bullets hitting inside the car. And then I don't... The dream goes... I don't even know where. But I remember waking up. And then I go back into another dream. Um, but I thought that was really, really interesting for those numbers to come up. And I'm one that I have dreams on numbers quite often. Um, and I always like to look at the numerology around it as well as the energy around it. And even though, um, it felt like, even though it was like, oh, somebody had to research it and it, it felt like it wasn't sent, it was fraudulently sent and all of that. It's bringing to my awareness. This is what I've been digging out of the dream because it's always a lesson. It's bringing to my awareness that I have to feel worthy of receiving higher amounts of funds so it can come into reality. So if I feel if I feel comfortable with having a hundred thousand and another added on a hundred and four thousand and going to the bank and withdrawing seventy four thousand and you know my bank account still constantly increasing even after I take it up um of not just money and sometimes we'll look at things as very you know physical but just worthy of currency, worthy of everything constantly being taken care of and living in with money. Yeah, we're not going to just leave that out. But yeah, definitely having money and definitely being able to live in an abundance and prosperous, but having that worthiness, that knowing that we are worthy of having these things. And even though we're on this spiritual journey, even though that we're cultivating consistently, even though that we're working to bring ourselves to our highest vibrational frequency, that we are also worthy of those finer things and the, the, the highest quality of things in this lifetime. And that because we are doing the work that we should not um, try to separate ourselves from things that, you know, are a good quality or good things of enjoying them, not being attached to them and not having ourselves uh, subjected to it where it controls us and we're emotionally connected to it, but knowing that we are worthy to have it and enjoying um, the fruits of our labor of just cultivating and being in alignment with the universal consciousness, being in alignment with, you know, compassion and love for others and sentient beings, just being in alignment with all that we are worthy to receive that. And there's nothing wrong with this, nothing bad about it. It's not fraudulent that we are just like that man she called out in the bank and said, hey, your account is in, it's always at 100 Okay, it's always, you know, here. And so we should be able to feel like that and receive it consistently, monetarily and in other ways. That was 
that was a message uh, for me as well as anybody else who feels like um, this could be for them. And um, and I know we'll say, yeah, I'm this, I'm worthy, I'm a queen, I'm you know, a goddess and everything. But when things are presented to you in the dream, it makes you reflect even more. It makes you go back and say, hmm, if I'm not manifesting this, in this reality from having you know six figures or seven figures c consistently in my account and these are things that I need and I desire in order to help my community in order to help my family in order to you know um, raise the vibration of the youth to have to use this uh, influx of income in order to create a uh, youth foundation or to help single mothers or single fathers or to help um, those children who may be in foster care and to put together a program um, that not only educates but also enlightens and then infuses the individuals there with the skill a license a certification a way that they can move forward and be able to you know bring in more income for themselves and then pass the torch and then they'll be like hey you know I want to open up a facility as well or create it as a franchise however it may go but knowing that this income or this influx and this pros prosperity and abundance is beyond you know, throwing it back into the system, but you are worthy to have these things because it's not just you, but it's others that are going to be touched and awakened and enlightened by your abundance, by your monetary gain, by your account consistently sitting at six and seven figures. Um, that is that continuous flow of currency that's going to shift and change the dynamic of how we move forward in this in the 3d dimension okay so um yeah that was the dream i'm going to uh, get back to creating i have some time I've been in a very creative mode and so i am uh, making some waste beads for some people that have reached out to me i guess they're feeling my creative energy because i haven't even put it out there and uh, people have been reaching out to me to get waist beads. And it's, it's so beautiful how it works because I don't even tell people like, hey, you know, I'll make some waist beads. It's like they know when to text and contact me and tell me that, you know, they want some. And it's always in alignment. It's always at a point where I want to create them. I, I feel the energy. Um, and I always know that um, part of creation, especially using your hands, that energy flows. One of the highest places is from your hands. And then the next is through your eyes. And then the next place, of course, is your feet. Energy flows from your feet. And then uh, lastly, from your crown. And of course, that chi and energy flows throughout all parts of your body. But this is how it leaves. Like even uh, when you ever been to church and I know growing up here in the south we would go to church and go to the altar with your hands up and you're projecting that energy out but then you have someone who is laying their hands on your crown so not only are they um, releasing their energy and you have energy releasing from your crown but they're also uh, connecting with their energy and then releasing the energy of whatever they're holding into you into your crown and so um even here even from on social media and these platforms you know through the eye contact through the eyes through hands and touch and even with me creating these waste beads that energy is being projected so you all i always send everybody love blessings prosperity abundance plenty of currency and money always flows to you easily and you are worthy of it it's not fraudulent or bad in any way it's coming to you swift and easy so peace and